Hey guys, so this video is going to be really quick. Today when I was on the way to breakfast with my family, I heard the news about Rick Janist. For those of you who might not know who that is, he's actually better known by his alias Zombie Boy. And he was the model in Lady Gaga's famous music video Born This Way. The model with the head to toe tattoos with skulls and you know, kind of the bone, the skeletal frame of the human body. And actually I read an interesting fact online, which is that he was known as Zombie Boy way before the tattoos. So the more you know. And I just wanted to take the time out of my day to say that, you know, because this channel does focus so much on positivity and good vibes and to help anyone who's watching my channel to make you feel like you are welcome and wanted and loved, I wanted to take the time out of my day to tell you whoever you are, wherever you're watching this channel from, I am here for you. So if you would like somebody to talk to or share your feelings with, Skype or, well, Skype is blocked in Dubai. That's, you know, it's really silly, but you can drop me an email. You can contact me on Instagram and, you know, it takes nothing from my day and it takes nothing from your day as well to speak to somebody and to see the better side of life as somebody who has been there, as somebody who has been in that pit where you constantly feel like it is better to not feel anything than to continue living your life. I know what it feels like. I know from first-hand experience. So if you are out there and if you are watching this channel, please take the moment out of your day to speak to a loved one, to speak to a best friend. Even sometimes it really hurts to speak to family and you just can't, but I urge you to reach out to somebody and speak to somebody because you are loved, you are needed, you are wanted, and even though you might not feel that way, there are so many people out there that love you and I don't know you, but if I did, I'm sure you'd be an irreplaceable part of my life. And Rick Janice was only 32 and to have been taken from this world like everybody else, like so many talented people that commit suicide every single day, every single minute. It's something that feeds back into the culture and says so much about us that we don't give people the time of day and we're not sensitive enough with people and we're not understanding enough of how much pain somebody must be going through. We're so used to this hubbub of our life, especially those of us that live in the city. We're so used to walking by somebody who can't climb up a flight of stairs. We're so used to, you know, expressing our sorrow on social media when in reality we don't tend to do that much. And I'm not a perfect person and I'm not suggesting that I am. but. On this recent path that I on, I feel so much more calmness and I have always in my life tried to better the people around me and to better help and assist and be there for people. And I urge all of you to do the same. We have social media as such a great platform to connect us and it should do that. It should connect us and it shouldn't separate us. So I urge all of you to be very connected in every sense with all of the people that make your life, your friends, your family and your loved ones because life is so short and as Rick Janis recent suicide and a lot of other suicides prove constantly and consistently, consistently, we need to take the time out of our day to be more loving. So that's the message I'm gonna leave you guys with. Please take the time out of your day, show some love, be more invested in people and I will leave some links in the bio for those of you that would like to speak to healthcare professionals and talk to them if you are having any sort of tendencies that link to self-harm. I love you guys. I hope everyone's having a great weekend.